All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back to talk about something that I didn't think we'd be talking about again so soon, which is we lost another music bot. YouTube sent a cease and desist to Rhythm, which was the biggest music bot on Discord, served over 20 million different servers and communities millions of songs a day they've been told to cease operations so for right now they've shut down on september 15th 2021 today and uh, they will be back they said they're shooting for spring of 2022 for their new music streaming service that will run off of discord and probably some other places so you'll have to stay tuned but until then obviously people are going to need a new bot to play their music so in the interim I have my new top 10 best Discord bots to listen to right now, and they include ones that are both high quality and cease and desist proof, because two of them no longer run off of YouTube, and I feel like a bunch of other bots are probably going to follow suit. Uh, the other ones are literally some internet radio bots that you probably won't have to worry about being taken down because they don't directly relate to your typical YouTube video playing bot. And then you've also got a couple that are free. And I feel like what some people are discussing is part of the reason why Rhythm and Groovy got taken down is because they offered a premium service while at the same time running off of YouTube's API for free, which is a big no-no from the terms of service. So they feel like bots that are completely free or at least don't have a direct premium option might be safe, but who's to say? Obviously the last video aged like sour milk, so. We'll find out. So starting us off is the Hydrabot, and Hydrabot is made by, in part, the guy that made Groovybot. And you can even see that down here. There's literally his little uh, username down here, and it's like, goes to his profile website. It's like, hey, I'm Oscar, and he's the guy that made Groovy, Hydra, and Arrow. And so Hydrabot is a really feature-rich bot. It's basically all the same quality that you ex came to expect from GroovyBot with all of the same really powerful commands, including even better commands like admin control, so you can limit it to a specific channel, set up a Hydra-specific like command channel, and you can also ban certain people from being able to use it if they abuse it a lot. And this bot recently just changed how they function if you check their community Discord server, they no longer function off of YouTube. They only use other platforms to play music, including like SoundCloud and I think Spotify. So you can use their commands to play music and they are cease and desist proof being the important thing. And they've got like a cool web dashboard. They got a bunch of commands, multilingual with 10 plus languages, easy to search for your music using commands, all that good stuff. And then you can also buy like a premium version. And I think that offers you like a bunch of copies of Hydrabot that can all play simultaneously on your Discord server. They got all these cool different commands you unlock if you pay for it. So if you're interested, it's basically just Groovy 2.0. So the next bot up on our list is Chipbot. And Chipbot is like a lot of other music bots. There's up to four of them that you can invite to your server at one time. It features reliable uptime, high quality audio, ultimate control, a bunch of different controls to make your listening experience super great. I don't really know about payment restrictions, but I'm guessing they just make it so that no matter where you live, you can buy premium. And then you can see they've got a lot of different controls here, including bass boost effects, skipping. You can look up lyrics, start, stop. You can vote on skipping to a next song, all that good stuff. Basically what you'd expect from a feature rich bot for music. And then if you want to buy premium, it looks like you can pay $3, $5 or $12 a month in order to get access to a bunch of different fancy tools and features, which is pretty cool. Um, they also do not run off of YouTube anymore, so you don't have to worry about them getting cease and desisted from YouTube. However, it's hard to say how these bots are going to adapt to using other uh, platforms. And obviously they may not have the same high variety of music to play that's available. So quality may be hit or miss. 
So the next set of bots that I found, they still do p offer the feature to play off of YouTube, but primarily these bots play music off of internet radio. So they can play live streams of music from multiple different platforms. So you can have a 24 seven live stream of music sitting in a channel at all times. And I don't even think you necessarily have to pay for that. And if you look here on top.gg, their key features are play any radio station and stream it 24 seven. You can play any song from the supported sources, play any live stream, and then the music doesn't leave the channel when no one is listening. It's always sitting there waiting and ready. And the premium offers you a queue where you can queue up songs 24 seven, higher quality audio, import playlists, export the bots queue, repeat one song forever, server wide volume controls, and you can make commands moderator only. And that's actually not too bad. How much is their premium? Let's find out if it'll let me. So premium plus, how much, how much is it? Doesn't really tell me, does it? Buy premium. Oh, it's a Patreon. So regular premium is $2.47 a month and super premium. So basically $3 and $8, not bad. All right, that's, that's not terrible. And they offer you a lot of different features depending on what you pay for. Although it looks like most of the features are available for just regular premium. So if you want something like that, it's there. And it off and there's a lot of great internet radio that you can play through a bot like this. Just look up different genres, and there's literally a radio station from everything to Veggie Tales to like death metal. So you've got the whole spectrum of music waiting for you. In a similar vein. There's another bot called Lo-Fi Radio that just launched from another uh, set of bots that plays regular YouTube music, and this just constantly plays Lo-Fi Radio. And then it's got an aesthetic and unique user experience and interface, always there for you 24-7. It stays playing on your server 24-7 and never disconnects. It supports stage channels, plays high-quality audio, 99% uptime, lag-free. Got a bunch of different commands and constantly updated. Zach, I think this just came out. And then after that, you've got Chillbot, which is very similar. It's just like lo-fi radio. It plays lo-fi music so you can chill out and it plays it 24 seven. And then it's got playing shows you now playing as to what song is currently on. You can change the prefix, look up stats, ping it to see what your lag is. There's premium options, all of that good stuff. And this is, you know, the whole thing is these are both lo-fi, relax and get stuff done kind of bots. So after the internet radio bots, we have some bots that are just your standard YouTube music bots like Fredboat. Fredboat offers really high quality audio. You can play from a bunch of different platforms, including YouTube, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, direct links to Twitch and supports playlists and live streams. So you can literally play a stream from Twitch or like one of the music streams off of YouTube. You can search on YouTube and SoundCloud. You can shuffle and repeat and you can customize your permission system so that it works just the way that you want it. The commands are pretty feature rich from what I remember using Fredboat before. They're everything that you would expect to see in a music bot. You can also see what the play history has been for your server so you can see what people are playing. That's kind of cool to see what kind of genres people are into and also see if somebody's playing something that's against your rules, it might be a little offensive. So that's always kind of handy. And then instead of running off of like a premium thing, they sell merchandise and you can donate to the project to keep it going. Another bot that is mostly free is Jockey Music. I've talked about them before. You can invite one of four bots to your server all for free. They have all of the feature rich commands that you enjoy and expect, including really fine tuned control over categories, stats, giving people moderator controls through the DJ role, being able to skip, shuffle, add, remove, and do all those things with songs. It's great, they got all that here. And then it's all just available for the low, low price of free and they support it using merch and also through Patreon. 
and they have a support site if you need help, which is mostly just on to uh, Discord. So the next bots after that are ones that I'm not sure where they fall within the question of will they get cease and desisted or not, because this one is Vexera. Vexera is a pretty powerful bot that includes high quality audio. It's got moderation controls that are kind of like a utility bot. It can do some greetings and stuff like that. But it also has a premium feature, and that's something that YouTube's been kind of big on knocking down lately. So this one may or may not stick around. But you've got a lot of great different commands that you can use here that you would expect of any bot that plays music. You've also got admin commands. You've got auto roll commands to let people automatically get a roll when they join your server or do other stuff. You've got some fun commands. You've got some games that you can play. It does images. It has information on different things. It does memes, random miscellaneous stuff, permission controls, and then a few that you can only get if you are premium, which is kind of what I was talking about. It is more of a utility bot than just a standard music bot, so it might fly under the radar, but we'll have to wait and see. Similarly, ProBot over here is another bot that I've talked about before. It offers you a lot of really powerful moderation, raid protections, welcoming systems, auto moderation. It's multilingual. It's got good uptime and it's got good quality for its music bot along with a leveling system. I know a lot of people like to have a leveling system that rewards people for communicating in their server. Uh, but similarly, they offer a premium system through their dashboard. So this one might not stay around, at least the music port feature. But if you do want some of the, you know, multi-utility things and you're not as big on the ones that have games built into them, you just want like some mod tools, auto moderation and music, this would be a good one. It's good high quality audio. And then of course, last but certainly not least, we have good old Me6, which is another utility bot that offers you levels. It offers you moderation tools. You can create your own custom commands. You can do alerts for streaming and putting up videos. All those good things are available here and they have a decent quality music player. I wouldn't call it the best. Some people kind of complained about it over time to me. So I'm kind of iffy on if I recommend this as a super great one. But if you're looking for a bot that's been around for a while and has a music feature, Me6 definitely has that for you. If they get cease and desisted, I would suspect that. But they also have a premium feature. So if they get a cease and desist letter from YouTube, I would suspect that the music feature might disappear relatively quickly overnight because I feel like a lot of people use Me6 for everything else about it and they use more music specific bots for playing music. And they offer you different plans. I'm not super certain what you get when you pay for it. I guess you just get some a whole list of server management perks, utilities. So you get a little bit of everything. It's not really music specific when you pay for premium, although again, they offer music and YouTube's not big on you offering music and a premium service. So this might not be available for very long. So this has been my top 10 picks for alternatives to rhythm and groovy music. We've got Hydrobot, we've got Chipbot, 24-7 Bot, Lo-Fi, Radio, Chillbot, Fredboat, Jockey Music, Vexera, Probot, and Me6. So if you want to use any of these bots, the video or, or the links to these bots are in the video description. I've been your host, Larry, and I cannot guess if any of these are going to stick around for very long, but I can say that at the very least, Hydra and Chip do not use YouTube anymore, so they won't be disappearing because of YouTube. So if you got any other questions or comments or you know of any other servers that are. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. And if you know of any other music bots that are going the route of Hydra and Chip and just removing YouTube features altogether so that they're cease and desist proof, please let me know. I'm always interested to see what bots everyone is using and which ones are popular so I can share them. And in until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.